When we left, let that. that. So much well, here, let me do it this time. All when right. we last left our heroes, they were being murdered and eviscerated by zombies, and then one of them caught fire and burned up. It was horrible. They all died, except for Bear Daughter, who apparently doesn't count. I guess I could res that guy. Oh no, it has to be a dead ally. Oh, there's a woman with an extraordinarily long sword. Uh, making man feel bad about himself. That seems... Oh, we want her. Get her. I'm Get not... her... Get her to come to your birthday party, and then... I tried to say hello. Her response was, Back, devil, back, I say, or I'll split you from navel to beak. Okay. Um, uh, maybe... she is willing to trade with me. Maybe I'll come and talk to her. Yeah. Looking for oversized sword lady. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think she's quite all there. Uh, that seems appropriate. My best friend's name is Bear Daughter. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, she does want to join our party. Sweet! She's a crazy person. That seems fine. Two's a tea party, three's an invasion. Fantastic plan. I like this woman. Also, she might actually come with a sword, because she's not currently imprisoned. Oh, I accidentally talked to her. Alright. Uh, now I get to play dress up. Um, what kind of two-hander she, does she have? Uh, she has a... Uh, two-handed sword slashing 36 to 57. Okay, so it's better than my helmet. Yeah, and she looks like a straight-up basher. Yeah, because I'm like, maybe I want to switch back to sword and shield. I just gotta get this axe identified. Join the spud club if you've got an eye for fine potatoes. Person wants me to join the Spud Club. I already Greetings. like them. Bye. Oh no, that was it. Oh, famous wizard. What do you have for sale? Nothing. You're a terrible wizard. Okay, so let's uh try and find a quest that we can do in town. Maybe. Oh, did you have a shovel? No. I'm just, I just keep forgetting to check if these people have shovels. Oh, I haven't found anybody with a shovel yet. So, Arhu told us what happened the night of Jake's murder. Two cloaked figures, followed by a third, entered a room. Shortly afterward, the sounds of a struggle bro broke out. When the innkeeper went to see what happened, the room was destroyed and Jake was dead and alone. So, it sounds like it happened in the inn. So, I'm going to go question the innkeeper. Actually, I'm going to question this waitress, because I can see her. What? She'd like to report some dark magic. Oh, only tainted hearts could tip as miserably as this lot. Nice. Oh, the room is still under quarantine, too, so we can go... And uh, investigate it. Oh, oh, good. Uh, which room is it? Is it upstairs? I think so. Oh no, it's probably this one full of blood. Oh, that seems a little likely. With the signs of a man that exploded in the middle of it. Hmm. All right. 
He has unlocked the door. Now, uh, uh, I don't, uh, what? the lightning bolt just, <laughs> this, I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for why walking in this room seems to have killed us. We're not dead! What are we doing? Explain how we get a couple of levels before we walk out the door. Where the very stars come to die. Who are we and where have we come from? Who the fuck are you? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we can swear on the stream. All right. Uh, yeah. The terminus the of time. Time. That does not sound like a first level adventure. I don't want to be here. This makes me uncomfortable. A stone? Was it, I don't know what the stone looked like. I wasn't even in the room. I just sort of, you walked in there and then lightning bolts and experience points and then it was unfortunate. Okay, star stone. Lovely. Uh, how do we leave? I think this is like our pan-dimensional home base. I bet there's a oh, way Oh, that would be awesome. The wielder of the star stone. Look, Ryan, I don't, I don't want to, you know, but this sounds like dark magic. Right, so we should blow this guy up is what you're saying. Maybe. Let's see what his pyramid scheme's like first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we have to only recruit four, that is way easier. Approach the... I think that idiot may be quite, quite mad. Then that... we to appease him and have a look through the looking lens. That, no, that that is not... That, no, we no. are we are violent individuals. We could probably... Although, well, gonna, to be fair, that, that is a pretty sweet telescope. There is nothing in his desk. I'm going to well, see if I can there. barter with him. Oh. He has nothing and no money. So long. Oh, right. I'm a bush. Dip in the right. lens. I'm looking in the lens. Ooh. Um. See. Oh. A thing? That was pretty cool. I, I liked that thing. It was pretty. The portal has become active. You know what? I'm a portal kind of person. Oh. You, you left and didn't drag me with you. Where oh, you should come through the portal. It's oh. We're in Homestead Hall. I bet this is our base. Neat. It's pretty boss. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of inactive portals in it. That guy has a lightning dick. A Wait, what? I'm I'm clearly going the wrong way. There's a, there's a statue of a four-armed man with a lightning penis. <laughs> oh. He has fire and ice coming off his middle fingers, and he has a lightning dick. Um, that he does appear to be in the, in, the, he's wanking. He is wanking his lightning dick. It takes with, two With hands. two of his arms. Like, he's just like, talk to this person. The Weaver of Time. Who are you? Her voice appears to reach you from an untold distance. Of like, say, five feet. Because that's about how far apart we are. She, yeah, but she didn't tell you, right? And maybe we're moving very quickly, so, like, the relative distance is, uh, misleading. Sure. She is time. The Weaver of Time. I'm gonna call her WT. Or Woot, for short.
If I if I didn't already have a save function, I would say that this lady was a save point. She chronicles all our adventures. Oh, oh. But we except for us, we are not featured in the Campus of Time. Oh, of course. So, uh, we can thus change the nature of time. Sure. Because we're not part of the story, so we can change it. Detached from fate and all that. I I, I, I played Kingdoms of Amalur. I know how it works. Only, this is like Kingdoms of Amalur, only more arduous. <laughs> I don't know. If, did you try to do all the quests in Kingdoms of Amalur? Hell yeah! That was arduous. Ah, uh, that's a point. Like, when you get to the point, it's like, I can kill, like, any monster I come across trivially. I have fought gods, effectively, and you would like me to find your wallet. The person's like, yes, I understand that. Uh, but, but, but my wallet, I did, it's... I did lose my wallet. You see, it could be, it could be quite near to, like, a spider or something, which, which is quite frightening to me. Yes, uh, perhaps... More than one spider. I would love for there to be an RPG where there are fetch... There, I feel like there are games that have done this. Where like there are fetch quests, but you can delegate those fetch quests to other people. If you are too important for them. So you can reap benefits from them. Not all the benefits, but some. I feel like there's a fun sort of D&D &D concept in that. I mean, rather than just having the the standard, like, at a point, people stop bothering you with bullshit quests. They still bother you. You just have a guy that does it? Yeah, well, you just have, like, apprentices and stuff. You're like, listen, I'm not going to take care of that. Steve's going to take care of that. Seek out the star stones. All right. So the void... Wow, we just went from being source hunters to, like... World saving quest. The plot thickens. We should tell the we must In like two hours. Has anybody told them that we're only like level two? No. Okay. We so don't I feel talk. Like that, that's an important piece of information. We don't talk about no. levels here. That like. We don't we're judge not really. We're not really the top ranking uh, swords hunters. We're sort of like. We don't judge people based on level, Ryan. We judge people based on action, and we are people of action. Remember last time we took action? We killed the shit out of that guy. So, so you're forgetting the bit where uh, we, we went and got murdered by zombies? Yes. Anyway, all right. So that thing we saw apparently was like the void devouring time in the universe. This would explain why this guy is so crazy. Now he wants us to put a stop to the maelstrom by taming the star stone. Seems reasonable. The star stones renew and revitalize. This seems a lot more important than investigating a murder. Yeah, yeah like we have sort of Increased in importance. Remarkably. Okay, so Possibly we Possibly excessively. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So we have a rune now that will take us here and and uh between here and home. And the pyramid has a twin, but he didn't say what it does. His name is Zixax, an imp historian. There's also a chest over here that uh, is named the last chest. Really? Because it's the first chest I'm going to open. Yeah, it won't let you until you open its other four sisters. Oh. Oh, I, I got a book. I'm going to read it. Which right did I just click get? to the teleport to teleport to the location of the other pyramid. 
That is weak. Do you also have a pyramid? I do not see a pyramid. Do you have a rune? I don't think I have a rune. I believe I rely on you for the runing and pyramiding. Oh, I'm fine a, with that. There's a pyramid how-to. Connected parties will follow whoever has initiated travel. You can use the pyramids while holding them, or you can place and throw them on the ground and interact with them. Okay, that seems like really niftily tactical in a way that I probably don't understand yet. I don't, however, see a rune, and I don't know if that's because I'm not looking in the right place or not. Well, there, there's a little rift travel uh, eye on the side of my uh, screen now. On the right-hand side, Oh yeah. I can rift travel places. To all of our waypoints. Yeah. So yeah, we have a homestead now. Neat, and it's in space. It's in space. It has a lightning dick, which uh, I find more impressive. There are a whole bunch of inactive portals. Um, did you see our creepy tree lady? We have a creepy tree lady? What? Follow no. me. I, I missed the creepy tree lady. Oh, I like the creepy tree lady. Yeah, no, she seems kind of cute. Uh, so, like, this is the home of creepy tree and lightning dick. Who I immediately want to rename to thunder dick. I, I feel like thunder dick doesn't have... Thundercock? Thundercock, yes! Thunderdong! Thunderdong. Sweet. What is over here? More portals. More portals. Okay, so these portals are presumably going to mean a lot of things. Yeah, I'm, I'm especially curious about the, like, glowy red and black portal down there. And the, yeah. like, lightning portal. And the snow portal. Pro tip, I think the snow portal goes to the ice level. Do you think that they would be that obvious? that they would just fall into that kind of trope. This game is nothing if not a, a font of innovation. All right, anyway, let's go back to the North Gate and solve a murder. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, when I, I teleport, do you teleport? Uh, I am following you, yes. Okay. Can we leave in the middle of fights? <laughs> This is going poorly. I would like to go back to my homestead. Have a chat with Thunderdog. Alright, so we're at the North Gate now. So let's go and actually investigate that room, perhaps without being kidnapped by lightning. I wonder if that guard's going to get really confused when we, like, come in the same door that we went in. But no! Wait! That's how it happened! That's how the murder happened. Because they talked about it. They said... Uh, oh, I'm looking at the Legionnaires. The murder. The mysterious murder. Um, two cloaked figures, followed by a third, entered a room. After the struggle, the innkeeper went to see what happened. The room was destroyed. He was dead and alone because they used the Star Stone to teleport away. I mean, or they just regularly teleported like you do. Oh, oh, I think my lady has something to say. Oh, you should. Actually, I think that's only Rose Pig. Ah, yes, yes, of course. This time. Oh, dear. The enigma is solved. She's a Gordian knot kind of lady, I think. That we need to fix her by cutting her with a sword? Oh, 
<laughs> she just wants us to be source hunters. Fair enough. I mean, I can understand that, like, this, we're like, we're source hunters, come with us. And she's like, yeah, I've been preparing my whole life for this. Even lost my mind over it. And then suddenly we're talking to a space imp. And he's like, please save the universe. So the stone is gone. No, inert stone. It's there. It's just, aha. I now have an inert stone. Seems cool. Probably shouldn't sell it. I just took the painting off the wall. <laughs> I accidentally stole a pillow. Oh, there's a chest. Uh, I can't I open that chest. Oh, wait, can I? No, I'm not a thief. It's locked. Do you have your Do you have your chest axe? I don't anymore. I got rid of it. No. Oh Jesus, this chest is really tough. I'm gonna smash up my weapon doing it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, uh. Oh, I look good. That's good. But is is your is your partner complimenting you? Mine's just ranting. No, no, I went to the mirror and looked at the mirror. Dude, that is gonna take you forever. I was doing 30 damage a pop to that thing, and I was barely damping it. All right, so we've just sort of solved this murder. Well, kind of. Oh, she wants to talk again. What? What's up? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Magic isn't all bad. What with my teleporting people into space? <laughs> okay, I think if we meet someone cooler than Medora, she might have to go. She is she is impacting the mission. I'm going to talk to the bartender. Greetings. What do you know about Jake's murder? Tell me about the night of the murder. I've got somebody trying to convert me. To what? Uh, um, I believe... Well, he's talking a lot about the conduit, so I'm gonna have to assume that he wants me to join the Reapers in scouring the uh, galaxy of sentience. Uh, ask him if they have a 401k. Uh, but he doesn't have a shovel either, so I'm just gonna leave. Okay, so... Um, we should talk to the Duke of Feral, who oh, was Esmeralda's lover. Oh, he's over here. Sweet. Greetings. Yes, we are, in fact, here to viciously interrogate you for information. Yep. The affair wasn't steamy or sordid like uh, everyone else uh, assumes. It was sort of like mundane. You know, we just sort of got together on Wednesday nights at 10.30 and did 10 minutes of missionary, and then we just sort of left. Sometimes we ate a potato together. a statement than really enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Farewell. Uh, yeah, he didn't really have anything useful to say. Nope. All right, journal. A quiet day on the market. A mysterious murder. Saw a crime scene, puddle of blood. I have to inspect the body. Inspect the body. Where would the body be? Cemetery. Was that up north? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of graves here. Right, but we have still not found a shovel. I mean, maybe he's not buried yet? They haven't cleaned up the blood from the crime scene. Eh, blood's hard to get out of hardwood. Fair enough. Join the Spud Club if you've got an eye for fun potatoes. Not in the mood for cheese. Oh, this person, there's a, there's a painter in the marketplace. I have a painting. He's also a cartographer. He also has like 19,000, oh, he has treasure maps. Ooh. They're like a thousand bucks each. That seems uh, out of our price range at the moment. I sold him that painting though. What did he call me? What did you call me? Haver of the beautifully shaped shoulders. I am a little uncomfortable. Greetings. Bye. Back again. I'd also like to find Esmeralda if Bye. we can. I feel like uh, the wife, I mean. Yeah. the fish vendor heard about it. Everyone assumes that Esmeralda is guilty. Which, yep. which, from which I conjecture that she totally is not. innocent? Yeah. Yeah. Man. We're gonna spend three years in this town. Like, yeah. we're going to grow beards. This is, this seems very likely. Alright. Um, I wonder if Esmeralda's in the city, like the mayor's city council thingy. Uh, worth che definitely worth checking out. I mean, I assume that she hasn't been executed yet. Uh, I assume so? Uh, I mean, that would make this really awkward. Yeah. I'll go check. I'm headed to the mayor's office now. I think it's the mayor's office. Yeah, it's the mayor's office. Oh, I found a different way out of town that didn't involve horrible, scary gates. Ooh, I like that. Uh, but there are definitely undead here. You might want to run away. I am running away. Uh, but yes. So I can't... Yeah, the Northwest Gate does not come with a warning. Oh! Bye! Oh, oh, I just found corpses. Okay, I just found a teleporter pyramid. Alright, I just found a, uh... Win a series of rock, paper, scissors matches? Just... What? Why is the charisma to gain an advantage? Oh. This is, this is super weird.
I mean, especially because it's rock, paper, scissors. Like, so it's not even soul. Like, there's no strategy. It's just pick randomly. This is apparently the negotiation me mechanic. And if you uh, have more char charisma... Uh, you get more you points when you win. Yep. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I found the Undertaker's this journal, and apparently a body vanished. I'm asking him about it. So I can't pick up this uh, teleporter pyramid, though. And there's a lady in here having a bath. Out now, if you please. This room is. Private. Does she have anything interesting to say? She really wants me to leave. That Can seems very reasonable of her. Uh, she is having a bath. I saw her as well, but I thought it even less uh, appropriate for what me to walk in. I didn't walk in. I teleported. Oh, now that's I'm laying what the in her teleport bed. pyramid did. Yeah, I have the I have the matching pyramid. You please, this room is private. So I was like, oh, there's a teleport thing. Except I can't pick up the pyramid. Away with you! Oh, I wonder if the Undertaker. He does not have a shovel. Farewell. Undertaker, what are you? Um. Oh, there's a door. I just left the door open while she's taking a bath. No, no big. Anyway, what was the what's the word on the Undertaker? Uh, he uh, the body went missing, and he submit suspects uh, a bunch of people. Pretty much everybody that we have a name for, including Esmeralda. Or possible sub suspects: Mayor Cecile, Captain Arius, the Healer's Apprentice, Evelyn, and Esmeralda. Um. So. New plan. We find Esmeralda, Esmeralda guilty of everything. And then go home. Seems totally reasonable. Reasonable wasn't what I was going for. Efficient was what I was going for. Uh, I don't even know where any of these people would be. Well, I mean, the mayor would be in the mayor's office. Yeah, I talked to him. Uh, since I found out he was a suspect... No, but I am right there, so I can hop back in and talk to him. All right. Mayor Cecil. Good to see you again. Hi. Hi. Let's see who have the matching pyramid. So, oh, about Jake's murder. He apparently forgot. He forgot about Jake's murder? Yeah, the Legion has taken Esmeralda into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. Well, I'm walking over to Arius's office. Farewell. Nothing about the graveyards, though. Well, I still haven't found anybody that'll give me a shovel, so. Man, remember when we beat up Undead? Yeah, that was awesome.
Greetings. All right, well, I can tell, uh, I can get uh, Arius to arrest the uh, mortician. Okay, but w why? I don't know. I found oh. Esmeralda! Oh, was she in the basement? Uh, no, I, I'm in a completely different building, but she's definitely Esmeralda, because her name is Esmeralda, and she says, Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate? I, I have the option to go, who are you? Which I think I'm going to do. Oh my. Let's talk about the undead instead of the murder. She has nothing useful to say about the murder. She seems to be quite adamant about her innocence. I'll need to look for evidence if I want to prove she did the evil deed. Back again. She also has a bunch of stuff. I don't even know who Evelyn is. Bring oh. Oh, she can identify my thing for me, though. Oh, sweet. Restorative Shepherd's Axe of the Master. It's a 22 to 35 damage axe. Has leadership plus one and hit points of 18. Sweet. Bye. There we go. We're back to uh, Axe and Shield now. Alright, so am I the only one who has no clue what's going on? Uh, no, no. I think I, uh, there are at least three other people in the party that have varying degrees of no clue what's going on. Bear Daughter actually seems to be pretty on the ball. I, I feel like she's just like... She's just so far past clueless that she doesn't know she doesn't know what's going on. That's possible. She doesn't know she's supposed to care about this. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, join the Fabulous Five, and oh, we'll yeah, make you a knight. And then you can draw more knights into our fellowship. That, that's what the five is about. You get you get five knights under you. Yeah. And each of them then gets five knights under them. So that's why this guy was going on so much without telling us what he was doing. I'm good. Suddenly this is amazing. Can we kill him? Oh god, I hope so. Because I'm about to try. I should maybe save. Hey, that hurt. Be more careful, would you? How do I get... I, want, I would like to get out of this dialogue. Have okay. you been possessed by a sorcerer? Aim your weapon somewhere else. Oh, yeah! You just murdered him. I was going to drop him off the edge of the world, but you just murdered him. 